The clamp saving industry offers our messenger drop clamp, which has many benefits over alternate products on the market. It has a much wider body and can be used with RG59, RG6, RG6 dual, as well as RG11 messenger cables. You will also see that both ends of the clamp are beveled out. That's to, so that you do not have any type of chafing or cutting of the cable as it floats within the clamp. You'll see an indentation in the center of the bale attachment. That's to keep the messenger centered so that it does not slip between the bale and the body of the clamp and pinch where you can have a break. You'll also notice that the tabs are rolled down flat and that's for safety and to prevent hand injury during installation. You also have a much wider bale for use on multi-span clamps for easier installation and easier removal. When installing the messenger drop clamp, you will notice that there's a small indentation on the top of the clamp. The orientation for the top of the clamp is the bale attachment up as well as the patented is, is on the up. That's so that you can have a proper drip loop coming out of the clamp. The small indentation here is to be used as a tool. We do not want to put any kind of sharp utility knives or anything of that nature between the messenger and the cable because we do not want to have any damage to the jacket on the coax. When installing this, hold the clamp in your hand with the messenger bale attachment up and patented facing up. Use the small indentation to separate the messenger. Now you only need to get it started. We don't want to go ahead and strip it back all the way at this point. Put the cable on the clamp. Go ahead and make sure that the bale is in between the messenger and the cable. Grab both ends and use the bale to strip the messenger back. Make sure you leave enough of a tail to work with if you're doing this on the tap. And you can also do this on the ground before going up the ladder, which, which makes for safety as well as installation ease. Now when you're getting ready to install the cable, make sure the cable is all the way inside the body of the clamp. You take the messenger, you fold it back over the bale attachment, use your thumb to make sure that it has pressure and is under tension so that it's nice and tight. Now the most important part of the aspect of this is that you want to make sure that you go across the inside of the clamp from the A notch to the B notch followed by the C notch. Make one full wrap, cut off your excess messenger about two thirds of the way down the clamp and then tuck the little tail underneath again for safety so it's not poking you in the hand and the installation is complete.